Hi, this is Ann from ducttapeanddenim.com. Today we're going to be t turning old wooden clothespins into carrots like this. And the supplies you need are just wooden clothespins. These are old vintage ones that I got at the flea market. You can also get them at craft, uh, craft stores and new. Um, I'm using paint. This is actually called jack-o'-lantern orange, but use whatever orange you have. I have a paintbrush. And I'm going to use my Dremel to drill a hole in the top to put in the, the uh, top of the carrot. And for that, I'm using raffia, green raffia. Got to have scissors to cut it, and I'm gluing it in with E6000. Okay, so first I'm just going to shake up my paint. And put some out on a plate. And I think I'm going to do this one first. And just start painting it. I think I'm going to paint in between first. So it seems to be a little less messy. Okay, so after your paint is dry, you're going to take your drill. Like I said, I'm using my Dremel. I've got a little bit bigger bit than um, I usually do for just sticking, just making a hole for wire. And I'm going to do a hole right in the top. You can see it, there's already kind of a little hole, and that helps you get it started. So I'm going to turn my Dremel to about four or five, and just kind of rest it on. And there's your hole. Now I realize that you can't see that, see me do that, so I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in this one before I paint it. Turn my Dremel on and I'll try to do this one at an angle where you can see it better. Actually, I'm going to do this because see that hole? That makes it easier to get started. And I'm not going to wiggle it around a little bit. There you go. Now you have a hole in top of your carrot. Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit, got the sawdust out of the way. Now we're going to put the top on. And for that, I'm going to pull off some raffia about a yard. I'm just going to stretch out my arm and cut it. I didn't measure it or anything because I'm going to trim it. So you can get more than you think that you're going to need. And then I bring the two ends together and I fold that whole piece in half. And then I'm going to fold that whole piece in half again. And then I'm going to fold that whole piece in half again. So it comes out like that. That's about a yard, a yard of raffia folded over on itself twice. And see when you pull it, it's going to kind of bunch out like the top of a carrot would. So one end you're going to squeeze, pick the end, pick the opposite end of the ones with the cut. Like the cut ends are going to be the outside of, or the top of the carrots. The bottom is where they're all folded and you're going to just take that and twist it around. Get it as pointy as you can. See that? Just as tight as you can. I'm going to take my E6000 and just open the top. This is already a pretty well used um, container, as you can see. I'm going to dip it in there. I might squirt some out a little bit. E6000 is really thick, so I'm going to get some all around the bottom of the carrot tops. And then just stick it in that hole right there. You're going to have a little over overflow 
and I'm going to hold it for just a minute and let it just kind of attach itself. I'm not going to worry about the overflow right now. I'm going to push it in there. Make sure it gets as far down in there as you can get it. Now these are for decoration only. So they're, they're not permanently attached. I mean, if I pulled those, they would come out. So they're just for decoration. They're not for your kids to play with or anything. All right, now I'm gonna decide how long I want my carrot tops. That's really pretty long, so I don't want them that long. I think I'm gonna do them about like the others, so I'm gonna hold it up and say, okay, probably about right there. And then just cut it off. Like, there you go. And then just kind of spread them out. And they'll spread out, you know, as you move as you move the carrots around in your display. They'll kind of move move around and there's your carrot. That was pretty easy, right? So I'm gonna keep going and make a whole basket full of carrots. Okay, so here are four of our finished carrots. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you will follow our page. And we'll have lots more spring and then summer home decor ideas, a lot of repurposed ideas. We've got a lot of videos coming up, so follow us on Facebook. Uh, we're also over on YouTube if you want to follow us there and subscribe to our channel there. And we will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.